Welcome to Open Dental Block Scheduling Webinar. In this webinar, we'll go over creating different blockout types, linking appointment types to blockouts, adding blockouts to the schedule, and how scheduling will work. In this webinar, we will be going over how to create and use blockouts to schedule your patient based on the purpose of their visit, or to be able to block appointments from being scheduled during certain times of the day. We'll start by creating our blockout types under Setup and down to Definitions, choosing our Blockout Types category. We'll go ahead and click on the Add button to start creating our new blockout type. The Usage section is optional. Checking the box for Block Appointment Scheduling will prevent appointments from being scheduled over this blockout type. This can be useful for blockout types, such as staff meetings or lunches, where you don't want to allow appointments to be scheduled during that type of blockout period. You can also disable the cut, copy, paste function if you don't want staff to be able to use that feature, but instead create each blockout of this type manually. You can also choose a color for a visual indicator on your schedule when this blockout type is used. We'll go ahead and select the color we can choose from the color palette that already exists, or we can also choose from the color wheel to the right or add in custom colors. We're gonna choose a lighter blue for this particular blockout type. Click OK. You can edit existing blockouts, such as spelling errors, by just double left clicking on a line item. If you're no longer going to use a blockout type, we recommend checking the box for hidden. Editing the blockout type name will change how that blockout type is displayed anywhere it was placed in the past. For this reason, we recommend that you create new blockout types and not rename existing ones. You can use the up and down arrows down here at the bottom to change the order of your blockout types showing in the available list. You can also choose the Alphabetize button if you want Open Dental to alphabetize your list instead. We'll go ahead and create just a few more blockout types to be used later on. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the current staff meeting color to a different color. We'll leave lunch as the red color. With our staff meeting though, I wanna go ahead and flag it as to not block an appointment over the top of this blockout. So we're going to block the appointment scheduling and click okay. Now that we've created some blockout options, let's go over how we can use them with appointment types for even more efficient scheduling. This is done under Setup, Appointments, and Appointment Types. The first checkbox in here is New Appointments Prompt for Appointment Type. This can be very helpful when you're first using appointment types to make sure that your staff is choosing from one. You can also use the Warn Users before disassociating procedures from an appointment. Let's go ahead and add in appointment types to match the blockout types we created earlier. We'll give it a name, the color, and you can define custom colors to set it closer to what your blockout type was. Set the default amount of time that you want this type of an appointment to take. The slashes are intake and outtake of the patient, and to change it to provider time is a simple single left click inside of the cell. These cells match the amount of time that's showing on your appointment scheduling window. On this type of an appointment, the procedures to add to appointment are procedures that are automatically going to be added onto that appointment when it's scheduled using that appointment type. For this type of an appointment, I wanna go ahead and make sure that we have the comprehensive scheduled and a bite wing scheduled. These are procedures that don't require a tooth number or a tooth surface. 
If you do have procedure codes that you'd like to make sure your staff is choosing from, those would be over in the required procedures section. We'll restrict this to the new patient blockout type or anywhere on our schedule that does not have a blockout. Let's go ahead and click OK and add in our next blockout type. Our crown, choosing from our colors, setting the length of the appointment, and how much time is going to be with the provider. In this case, crowns are going to require a tooth number, so I'm going to make sure they're added in the required procedures section instead. Let's go ahead and restrict it to the crown type, and in this case, we're going to add in the procedures that are required to be on this appointment. I want my staff to choose from either the porcelain ceramic or a porcelain fused to high noble metal that we do in the office. But in this case, I don't want my staff putting both of these procedures on the appointment, so I'm going to set it to at least one. Let's go ahead and click OK and add in our last appointment type. Once again, this time I'm going to skip over the procedures to add to the appointment, choose our blockout type, and in this case, my office only does one type of extraction, so we're going to set it to requiring my staff to choose it. In this case, we're setting the radio button to all. If you're no longer using appointment types at your office, simply hide them and clear the blockout type restrictions. Let's click OK, and we now have a list of our appointment types. Now we're going to go over how to put a blockout on your schedule. There are two different ways. We'll start with the first day of the practice's work week, in this case, April 10th. We'll right-click on the schedule and click Add Blockouts. Verify the start and end time for the blockout, and use the Notes section for more specific details about the blockout. We'll choose our blockout type and which operatories we want the blockout showing in, and click OK. If you prefer to have the blockout showing a full colored box, go to Setup, Preferences, and then the Appearances section under the Blockouts heading. Use solid blockouts instead of outlines on the appointment module. There's also one other preference for blockouts in here to allow block appointment scheduling blockouts to replace conflicting blockouts. Let's click OK and you'll see the blockouts are now completely highlighted in the color that I chose earlier. This particular blockout is set to not allow scheduling, so if I try to schedule a patient over the blockout, I will get a pop-up and the appointment will not be moved to that space. Now let's create a blockout using the other blockout types that we made. Right-click, Add Blockout, Set and Verify the amount of time, which blockout type to use, and which operatories that that blockout's going to show in. Dr. Ryder's the only one who wants new patients from eight to 10, so we're just gonna choose his operatory. Let's right click and add in our next blockout type. And in this case, I have two doctors that would prefer to have that blockout type in their operatory, and we'll click okay and it'll put it into both operatories. Let's go ahead and right click we're going to set from two to four as our crowns, and this again for Dr. Ryder and Dr. Baxter. Appointments for new patients, extractions, and crowns will need to be scheduled over their blockout type or in an area that does not have a blockout currently. Let's go ahead and schedule a patient over these blockout types using our appointment types. You can schedule using your normal scheduling ways by either double clicking on the screen or clicking on the Make Appointment button. Verify that you're on the correct patient for scheduling and click OK. If you've chosen to prompt for the appointment type, this window will pop up for your staff to be able to choose from the appointment types listed, or if none of the appointment types match with their scheduling, they can still choose none and schedule as normal. I'm gonna to choose to schedule the new patient, and you can see that it sets the default length of time the color on the appointment, and because I chose procedures to add to the appointment, it's automatically attached those to the appointment as well. Clicking OK, we'll schedule that patient over the blockout type. 
if I try to move this onto a different blockout type, Open Dental is going to tell me that the appointment overlaps an existing blockout because it doesn't match the blockout restrictions that I put on that type. Let's go ahead and schedule the other type of appointment. Double click, click OK, or create new appointment. In this case, our extraction sets the default amount of time, the color, but did not attach the procedure for me. If I click OK at this point, Open Dental is going to tell me that at least one procedure must be attached to the appointment. If I try to attach a procedure code that is not the appointment type's specific required procedure, Open Dental is going to give me the message that for the appointment type of extraction, requires the following procedure code to be added. The following procedures are missing from this appointment. I can then deselect and choose the correct procedure code and click OK to schedule. Let's go ahead and try to schedule for the crown. Choosing our appointment type, it sets the amount of time, the color, and if I go ahead and try to click OK at this point, Open Dental is going to prompt that at least one procedure needs to be attached, and if I tried to choose something other than a crown, Open Dental is going to give me the message of which options I can attach to this appointment. Go ahead and attach my procedure code and click OK to schedule our crown. Now that we have some blockouts on our schedule, we'll have a few other options when we right click on the screen. I can edit an existing blockout, cut a blockout, copy a blockout, and once I have copied the blockout, I can then paste, I can delete the blockout altogether, add in additional manual blockouts and I now have the option for Blockout Cut Copy and Paste. The Blockout Cut Copy Paste tool can allow you to clear a day, include weekends if you've also got blockouts on your weekend schedule. In this case, I'm going to show you how to copy the day. We'll click the Copy Day button, and that window will disappear so that I can choose which day I'm going to paste it to. Let's go to Tuesday, right-click, Blockout Cut Copy Paste again, and in this case, if I want to just paste one day at a time, I can click the Paste button. Keep in mind the Replace Existing. If you have existing blockouts on your schedule, you may want to uncheck this so that Open Dental doesn't replace existing work you've done creating blockouts. We'll click Paste, and Open Dental will paste those blockouts to another day. If you have multiple days in a row that you want to paste the blockouts to, you can right-click, Blockout Cut Copy Paste, verify the blockouts that you've copied and which day you've copied from, and then you're going to choose the Repeat option. Paste will paste one at a time, Repeat will allow multiple at a time. In this case, I want to copy it to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so we're going to set this to three and click on Repeat. Once again, being cautious of any blockouts that might be in the future, to make sure if I don't want to replace them yet, or I want to decide if I'm replacing them, I would want to uncheck the box. We'll click Repeat, and I can now go to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and all three days have our blockouts on them. Once you have a week the way that you want the blockouts, simply go to the first day of the work week, right-click, Blockout Cut Copy Paste, and copy the week. Let's go to the next week that we want those blockouts on, right-click, Blockout Cut Copy Paste, and in this case, I'm going to uncheck the Replace Existing in case there's things out several months away that I don't want to replace. I do want to make this schedule set up for the next year, so we're going to put in 52 for the 52 weeks of the year and click on Repeat. Open Dental has now gone out for the next 52 weeks and placed those blockouts on the schedule. Now I can go through the individual days of the year and right click and add in blockouts for things like the employee staff meetings. I don't want patients to be able to get scheduled over important meetings that I have, so we're going to set this as a staff meeting, which doesn't allow staff to schedule over that blockout type. 
we're going to tell everyone that they're required to be at the Lunch and Learn and click OK. You also have the option to right click, clear all blockouts for a day, or clear all blockouts for the day for this specific operatory that I've right clicked into only. I can also get back to the edit blockout window that you saw earlier by using the very last option. If you want to copy blockouts for specific operatories, you do need to restrict the view to the operatories that you're wanting to copy. To do this under setup, appointments, and appointment views, and creating views for the specific operatories you're trying to copy. In my case, I have all, doc, and hygiene. If I go to my views on the right-hand side and hygiene, I could copy over just the blockouts that I have set for just my hygienists or just my doctors. Now let's go over how to search for available openings using the blockout types we've created. We'll start by right-clicking and putting an appointment on the pin board. You can also do this by using the Make Appointment button so that the appointment goes straight to the pin board. From here, on the pin board on the right-hand side, there's a button called Advanced right next to the pin board. This will allow you to choose your filters for the dates your patient's looking to come in, if they have schedule restrictions, such as working in the afternoon and needing appointments before 11 a.m. or after a specific time, which provider that patient prefers to see, and the blockout that you want to look for on the schedules. You can now click Search, and Open Dental will show you any availability it has for the parameters that you're looking for. You can see here on the 10th, it's going to start at 8.40, due to the amount of provider time needed. I can then click on my dates and Open Dental will jump me forward on the calendar so that I can then click and drag the appointment onto my screen. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.